Troll YouTube, it's me, Retro Prime, here in plushy form. Hiya. <laughs> Let's take it. The wife made that. It's me, look, got no hair and a beard and I'm holding some Transformers. Love it. Anyway, that's nearly here nor there. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd make a quick video because we've just finished watching season three of Stranger Things and it was it was proper bow. Um not as good as season one, better than season two. Has its issues. I think the, the, the sort of eighties Stephen King esque font and opening and stuff doesn't really suit the third season. The third season's more sci fi -y, back to the future -y type stuff. Um, I may spoil things, so if you've not seen season 3 or 2 or even 1, then I'll just say spoilers, in case I mention something that I shouldn't. But uh, yeah, basically B&M Bargains have got the figures in, and uh, I just got straight off the back of watching season 3, we went in and I, I thought oh, I'll pick up a, a demo gorgon, or a demi gorgon as they call it, because uh, I love these things, and these these figures were £5 each in B&M, so I thought, why not? Uh, yeah, um, the demo gorgon was the, the main villain? Like the the bad guy in the in the in the first season, I'm not sure if they appeared in the second season. I don't think so. And uh, spoilers, there's one at the very end of season three. Uh, so I thought I'd pick up the the, the demi gorgon figure, or as my daughter calls it, flower head. She's not seen the TV show, obviously. She's just seen this line about. But I uh, so I mean, I love the way they're presented. Very simple, very sort of like Star Wars in esque eighties esque action figure type stuff. Just got the, I mean, I'm trying not to get the glare in it, but it's got this the Stranger Things font. This is obviously a season one figure, um, because it would say Stranger Things two or three there, I think, um, and it's just, it's the season one artwork. Yeah, pretty decent figure. There you are. It's that size. <laughs> what was talking five inches? Uh, on the back, you've got other characters you can get. You you've got Will, the Demogorgon, Lucas, Dustin, Eleven, and Mike. Um, now. I've seen all these figures in the shops, they're all there. They're, they've been standing on the shelves for ages. And I wouldn't have picked them up if it wasn't for, for watching season 3, I don't think. Uh, they're alright, I mean, they do resemble the actors. Definitely, especially Dustin. But the paint jobs on them aren't very good. The ones that were there, like, there's there's patches missing on the hair and the faces are all a bit sm smudged and stuff. So, I mean, five, uh, four nine these were. Uh, the, the, like, the Demogorgon doesn't have a lot of detail on it, apart for the... The old moosh there, so I don't think there's much they could have got wrong with this one, but definitely with the humans, there is issues with the paint, I think. Uh, Netflix, obviously, because that's what it's on. The Kellogg's thing confused me when I was uh, perusing it, but then if I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says, uh, Netflix original series, Eggles trademark uh, 2007 Kellogg's. So obviously this is, that's a trademark for the, because Eleven comes with a wee box of Eggles. Yeah. Pretty cool that is. Uh, they also had a couple of ch uh, limited edition chase. I don't know what the chase part is, but limited edition. Uh, same box as uh, the other ones. They've all got the, they've all got the same box in them. They're, uh, the same figures displayed on the back and stuff. But this one has the it's the exact same figure from what I can tell, but it's got the closed uh, head or the closed mouth. I don't know whatever it's supposed to be. Opening orifice. And uh, yeah, so it's limited edition. There was also one other limited edition one I could see there, and it was. So you've got Will here. There was the other limited edition one was a, it's the same Will, but it was he's blue like it's, it's the sort of upside down version of Will, but he's he's all he's all blue and done in sort of grey scale clothing and stuff. So it's meant to look like he's in the upside down. Uh, pretty cool figure. If they go cheaper, like say they reduce to like three quid, I'd get them uh, just for the just for the grin because they are decent figures. And I do really love Stranger Things. Um, yeah, let's get one of these bastards open. Which one will they open? Bugger it, we'll do we'll do this one first. Yeah. Oh, very. Oh, they feel very nice and solid, actually. Oh, that's quite a pleasant surprise. For some reason, I expected them to feel cheaper than this. So the head's in a ball joint, it looks like. Oh, and it comes off. There you go. Oh, they could have just given you the spare head, surely. And then I wouldn't have had to have bought two. <laughs> uh, ball joint at the shoulders. The bendy. Well, so I suppose wrist bend and elbow bend. Uh, ball joint at the. Oh, no, it's not. It's just a. Swivel joint at the, the hip, and he's got a knee, which, to be honest, doesn't look that sturdy. Looks a bit like, like that's going to come apart, so I won't be bending that much. And he's got an ankle bend. Uh, but the plastic feels really nice. Feels really, so feels quality made. Uh, yes, uh, I love the detail on Let's see. That is awesome. Pretty cool. Or whatever noise it makes. That wasn't even a noise, that was just me burping a wee bit. 
Yeah. It's got holes in the feet for standing on a stand, I believe. It's got a little bum there. Look at his little bum. Oh, has it got a waist? Uh, no, it looks like he's, he's it looks like there's a, a join there for uh, sort of torso movement, but that must just be where they've they've either planned it and not done it, or it was uh, just the way it's constructed. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Should we open another one. Yeah, why not? You will sit there, lad. Oh, bloody hell! Oh. Yeah, same deal, same figure, different head. <laughs> they feel sticky, or is that because I was eating crisps before this? I don't know. Yeah, they're alright. I'd, uh, I'd recommend picking them up if you're a fan of Stranger Things, to be honest. Can't I go wrong? Aye, why no? Fuck it. And if you've not seen season three, or one or two, do it, because it's a fucking amazing TV show. Hey.